Welcome, yeah, so 14 here, and this is just uh, an application of two of the product to some formulas from trigonometry. So a bit abusive, because this is now the third time that we've used product to some formulas in the same 2019 integration B qualifying exam. But anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's try and use this here and this denominator. Uh, in order for us to use this here to go from the sum to the product, first notice that we got to get rid of this one half. Uh, and that's easy, just multiply both sides of this by 2. But we'd also want alpha plus beta to be 20 and alpha minus beta to be 19. Yes, I didn't say 20x and 19x because as long as we get the coefficients right, then we can throw on uh, the x, right? So uh, solving the uh, system of two equations and two unknowns, alpha plus beta is 20 and alpha minus beta is 19, we get that alpha is 39 over 2 and beta is 1 half, meaning... Uh, here, uh, in this equation, we should use alpha is 39 over 2x and beta is half x. And doing so, we see that we can write this here, right? This here is this left-hand side right here, right? And the right-hand side here. Now, in here, we're going to get uh, 40x divided by 2, that's 20x, as we'd like. And then here, uh, 19x, right? And as I said, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. And so doing all that, we get this here. So now we've got a good replacement for this denominator of our integrand. Specifically, this here is what we're going to replace it by. And so we imagine we want to do similar to the numerator. And so this time we use this equation, another product to some formula, right? And again, with alpha equaling 39 over 2x and beta equaling half x. And if we plug in, uh, we get this, right? And then on the right-hand side, we're going to get sine of uh, 20x plus sine of 19x, all that multiplied by 1 half. We already said what we're going to do about this 1 half. But yeah, more importantly, what we have here, sine of 20x plus sine of 19x is this numerator, right? And so um, first combining uh, these guys into the 20x that they should be, and then the other guy to the 19x that it should be, and then multiplying both sides of this equation by 2, we get this. So now this here is equal to this. So we've got our uh, replacement for the numerator of our integrand. So we can rewrite our um, given integral like this now. Notice that we don't need to change the limits because they were about x. They're still about x. Now look here. How nice. This 2 and that 2 are going to take care of each other. But also cosine um, half x is going to cancel this other cosine half x in the denominator. So if we do all that, our integral actually simplifies very nicely to this. But now we need space. So let's make space and remind ourselves that this is now the uh, simplified version of our integral. And then from here, it should be pretty obvious that we could just do a simple basic substitution, aka u substitution. So if we let u equal cosine of 39 over 2x, then du is going to be this right-hand side, and then um, we can solve from this equation for dx, right? And so doing so, it means that we get this. And for now, let's abandon the limits of integration because I don't want to convert to u and then come back to x. So if we abandon uh, the limits of integration but then substitute for dx with this because that's what dx equals, and uh, then, of course, u is uh, this denominator here. So our denominator is u, and dx is uh, replaced as we uh, should have it replaced. And now it's pretty obvious that I can cancel this here uh, with that there. And then I could take this 2 over 39 in front of the integral, as well as this minus sign uh, we could put in front of the integral. Right, So doing all that, we see that uh, the integral simplifies to just this. And now this here is just the natural log of u, right? But we recall that u is cosine of 39 over 2x. So we call that back. And now that we're back to x, we can um, call back the limits of integration. And we do that. And we know how to uh, proceed from here, right? We plug in pi over 100. And then we plug in 0 and take the difference, right? And because we plug in 0 and take the difference, uh, we're going to get uh, a plus right here. And that's because this here came with a minus in front of it. So when we do minus minus, it's going to turn into plus, right? And then furthermore, uh, cosine of 0 is 1. But the natural log of 1 is 0. So this part is going to go away. And so our final answer is going to be negative 2 over 39, the natural log of cosine of 
39 pi over 200. Yeah? All right, cool. Uh, 15 is next. Keep watching. Take care.